Hello everyone, Tina here. I hope you're having a great day. Thanks so much for joining me. Today I get to share with you a couple of projects for Spellbinders. We're using the Small Die of the Month Club Kit. It's for February 2020 and it is so neat. It's called um, Art Studio Botanicals. There we go. <laughs> it's a seven piece die set. You get the circle die here. And then each one of these six circles will fit um, on the inside of that larger circle, but it also creates a win. If you do it separately, it will create a window inside your panel. I'm going to die cut it out to show you what it looks like, but it's super pretty and super neat. And I like that there's botanicals and get there's an artsy side to them and you get three of each set. So this is basically what it looks like. Now, if you layer both of the dies together, you create a frame. So let's layer them together on the same piece of cardstock and I'll run this through to show you what that looks like. So there's our frame. Super neat, huh? I love that. Now the frame, you can inlay it on the circle if you die cut it out of your panel, or you can layer it on top of um, another one of those if you'd like, or and then you can mat the background with a plain circle if you wanted to. For today, I'm gonna die cut out six frames. We're gonna just use the frame and then use that circle, large circle die and cut out um, backgrounds for them. I want to share with you each one of the dies and what they do. This is what they look like. We're going to work on the artsy dies first and set the botanicals aside. Um, we're going to add some color using some distressed oxide inks. So using a piece of white cardstock, we're going to bring in the craft mat and do some ink blending with some oxide inks. I have picked raspberry. We have wild honey and dusty concord and we're going to just create um, a background with all three colors. We're going to start off with Wild Honey, just ink blending on the very bottom of our card base here. Or actually, it's not our card base. Sorry, it's just a panel. <laughs> um, after we have our Wild Honey down, we're going to go ahead, clean up our brush here and add our picked raspberry. Just blending both of these together. I thought these were bright and vibrant colors, kind of go with a, the artsy look. <laughs> um, after we have our picked raspberry down, we're going to go ahead and blend in our dusty concord. And I didn't go all the way to the top because we're going to actually trim this panel down. Now while we have our inks out, I'm going to um, create some circles on another piece of white cardstock. Um, these circles you want to make large enough um, to where that die um, that cuts out the background will fit over them. And I'm kind of overlapping them, adding a little bit of color different color in each one of those circles. So this is what our panels look like. We're going to add some water droplets. Um, we're going to distress some of this ink and add some texture to it. And I think the color combination is going to look really good with uh, the artsy side of these dies. <laughs> um, for this panel, I'm going to trim off about a one inch strip off the left. Um, I don't need that a full coverage on my, my panel here. When I trimmed it, um, I have a very white edge. So that's an easy fix. I'll just take my blending brush and go around the edges. The yellow side already um, had ink on it, so I just wanted it to match a little bit better. I'm going to take that large circle die and cut out some circles um, with each of the colors, basically. Now I did the same thing using some blue oxide inks. I have faded jeans, twisted citron, and peacock feathers. And so Basically, I did the same thing, just my panel is a little bit smaller than the one on the left there. Okay, there's my little frames. We're going to set our, our, well, actually, you know what, let's glue everything together. We have this ready to go. I'm just going to add a little bit of an outline behind each one of my elements and then add them directly to the background circles. That way there's a little bit of color there. I use my block just to weight it down. We'll do this to all six of our circles. And I think this looks so neat. I had so much fun with this. I thought was, the sky's the limit. You could even overlap them. I thought that would be great. Okay, for card number one, we're going to start off by adding some foam adhesive behind each one of our circles. We'll just remove the release paper, turn our, our panel over. And we're just going to kind of just add them to our panel. 
and I think this is gonna look great. I'm just making sure that my lines and the the arch ones, the rainbow one basically is um, up and down basically. Okay, for my sentiment, you can see there, I brought in the um, stamp of the month club kit. <laughs> We're gonna use the sentiments from that. That's the spring in the desert stamp set. Um, I love the sentiment in here, it says be yourself. So I thought it'd go perfect in this bottom corner. And um, we're gonna do some heat embossing. So I'm treating my paper with my anti-static powder tool. We're just gonna stamp our sentiment with Versamark ink. And then we're gonna go over our sentiment with some white embossing powder. I thought the white would look really good against that background and it would stand out. We'll go ahead and grab our heat gun and melt that embossing powder until it's nice and shiny and then our sentiment is ready to go. We're gonna flip this panel over. We're gonna go ahead and add foam adhesive behind the entire background. And then this is gonna go on a standard A2 size card base, which is a four and a quarter by five and a half inch top folding card base. We're gonna offset it just a little bit. Once this is adhered, we need to add some bells and whistles, of course. <laughs> so I have some iridescent stars. I thought it went really good with the colors in the background. Um, so I'm just going to add a few here and there. There are different sizes. So just using some glue, we're going to add some stars. I thought stars weren't worked well because of um, there's polka dots and there's crisscrosses. I just thought stars would look really good, and I like the effect that this gave. Once my stars are adhered, we're going to add some sparkle. So I'm going to bring in my Ranger um, Glitter Glue. This is the diamond color. And I'm basically going to skip each um, every other line on each one of my circle images. We just need a little bit of sparkle. I didn't want to go overboard. But um, we're going to go over like three of the rainbow shapes three of the lines, and then we're gonna add a few to each one of the polka dotted areas. And then that finishes off card number one. Nice, bright, and cheery, something a little bit different. <laughs> now for card number two, we're gonna make a landscape style card. So we're gonna start off by adding foam adhesive behind this panel. This panel I trimmed down so it's two and a quarter inches um, in width, but it's the length of my card base. Um, we're going to use the grid lines on our mat to make sure it's straight because I probably would get them crooked. <laughs> Once this is adhered, we're going to add foam adhesive behind each one of these circles. And then we're going to add them. Once they're added, I'm going to use the same stamp set for my sentiment. There's such an encouraging sentiment in here that says you are stronger than you think. And for some reason, I always put um, strength and botanicals together. To me, it just goes good together. So we're going to stamp the sentiment on the, on the leftover piece of the blending paper that we um, used. Um, I treated it with my anti-static powder tool. We're going to do the same thing, stamp it with Versamark ink and then add white embossing powder and then heat set that. Um, and I think that looks really good against the blue. Now this sentiment we're going to trim down using our paper trimmer. We're just going to block it off. And I thought the blue would go really good on the bottom of my card base because we have the blue on the top and I think um, it will just stand out this way. Okay, we're gonna flip over our sentiment. We're gonna add some foam adhesive. Now it's gonna overlap the um, peacock feather um, circle. And I think the bottom looked a lot better. So we're just gonna add foam adhesive to the left and then leaving a gap and then adding it to the right and then this way it's flush on the card. And I think that looks so pretty. For bells and whistles, I didn't want to go overboard with sparkle, so I'm bringing in some iridescent bubbles. These are itty bitty tiny ones. And I'm just adding a few here and there. And then after I have my bubbles added, um, I, you could leave it just like this, but um, I'm gonna use my Journey Glaze. Journey Glaze is like a glossy accents. And so I'm gonna just go over the botanical portion of those circle frames, just adding some dimension and some gloss. Just kind of throwing all of it together. And then that finishes off my second card.
So this is the Spellbinders Small Die of the Month Club Kit. I hope this gives you some inspiration on how to use those dies this month. Have a great day. Thanks so much for stopping by, guys. And we will see you again real soon. Bye-bye.